In this segment, we'll cover initial software setup between the VTRAC A class and the NAS G1100 cluster. The first release of the NAS G1100 will support single and dual nodes, but future firmware and software updates will support up to eight nodes, making this a fully scaled out NAS solution. An important thing to note, in the VTRAC A class setup videos, we mentioned that you want to isolate your metadata network and enclosure management traffic from your public network. This still applies. In our case here, the new Mac Pro Ethernet connected client is connected to the Meta Ethernet public network and the 10 gigabit data network via separate physical connections. Once you've got the NAS G1100 hardware connected and turned on, log in via the A-Class Web GUI interface. The first thing you'll need to do is specify the IP assigned to the A-Class RAID head. In this case, 10.0.0.25 was previously statically assigned. Now let's take a look at our network settings. We have three networks. The first network is 10.81.120.102. This is the public network used to browse the web. The second network is 10.0.0.50, and it is the metadata network that is also used to manage the VTRAC A class. The third network, 10.10.0.98, is the 10 gigabit data network connecting via Thunderbolt to SandLink 10 gigabit adapter, which will access the NAS gateway cluster. Let's log in now. The default login name is administrator, and the default password is password. As you can see, we currently have no NAS Gateway configured. So let's navigate to the NAS Gateway section and click on Add New NAS Gateway. The NAS Gateway Setup Wizard will guide you. Enter the name of the NAS Gateway. We'll call ours G1100 NAS. Next, specify the Gateway Virtual IP Address. This IP address has to be on the 10 gigabit data network, which is using our SanLink 10 gigabit to interface to the NAS Gateway. Let's give it 10.10.0.10, .10 since this IP is free and I can use this. Notice there are three options under the SIFS protocol. No anonymous user, read only, read and write. No anonymous user protocol assumes that you have LDAP configured so users will be able to authenticate using LDAP. For LDAP configuration instructions, please reference the A-Class Level 1 video on how to configure LDAP. Read only and read and write user protocols indicate you don't have LDAP configured and are using anonymous login or a guest connection as Mac users call it. If you don't want to use NFS protocol, simply disable it. Both SIFS and NFS are enabled by default. Click next. Now we have the NAS gateway node selection. In our case, we have two modes that we want to make part of the cluster. Select ID three and four after confirming their IP addresses. Click Next. In this section, you can make any last minute changes to your link aggregation configuration. A-Class Link are the metadata network made up of four physical ports. NAS Client Link are the two 10 gigabit ports on the NAS Gateway node. As you can see, these are on separate networks. The same applies to both nodes. In our case, we are all set, but we will just click Next. This screen allows you to select which file system to SIFS or NFS mount to. In our case, we already had one file system established. Select Promise and click Next. The next screen is the overall summary of your configuration. Here we see the name of the NAS cluster, the virtual IP assigned that will be used for SIFS or NFS mount points on the clients, your link aggregation of metadata and 10 gigabit network, the LDAP configuration, which is currently disabled, and lastly, the mount point the IP connected clients will mount to on the A-Class. Click Submit and allow one to two minutes for the wizard to establish the configuration and start all the services. Once you see the NAS Gateway is successfully created message, click Done. You'll now be prompted to register your NAS Gateway. This can be done in two ways. If your VTRAC A-Class RAID head is accessible to the World Wide Web, the registration can be completed directly through the A-Class web interface. If your VTRAC A-Class RAID head is not accessible to the World Wide Web, you'll have to register independently through a web browser at https colon forward slash forward slash support.promise.com. In our case, we'll simply skip the registration. Okay, now let's review the setup. The dashboard summary shows that the NAS gateway is online and functional. If you click on the NAS Gateway, it'll take you back to the NAS Gateway configuration. 
Let's look at the mount point tab. As you can see, the file system is already mounted. Now let's take a look at the SIFS section. As previously mentioned, if you've configured LDAP, your users and groups will be displayed in this section. Finally, let's have a look at NFS. For NFS, you have to add each client IP address that you want to give access to. You can also set the appropriate permissions here. One final tip, from the gear icon you have other options like unmount or delete clients. And that's it. You're now ready to mount and access the VTRAC G1100 NAS gateway. For additional tips, refer to the quick install guide, the product manual, or visit kb.promise.com. Promise also offers advanced level 2 training courses. For more information, visit www.promise.com. In our next video, we'll cover mounting and accessing the NAS gateway.